So as we all know, the uh, clinical trials for new generation were all based on children, younger children and also some older children. The oldest one that was in the clinical trial that I could remember was 12 years old as when the kid was entered. And um, the FDA approval was all based on the data from the children. And, um, but the FDA approval, when it came out, it was an, it was an approval for every, anyone with spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, but we don't have no data on adults or older kids, adolescents and adults with spinal muscular atrophy where they have a chronic disease. It's progressive chronic disease with very more complex phenotype. And clinicians were hesitant to treat the adult patients even though they have a treatment available, which is FDA approved new synersin. Neurologists very hesitant to treat these patients with spinal muscular atrophy because there was no data available for them in terms of efficacy, in terms of safety, since they needed uh, lumbar punctures for treatment. So we looked at, um, from our center, the patients that we treated who were older than 12 years, and also which included adults and adolescents with spinal muscular atrophy. And the data showed that it is safety in the clinical environment to treat them with nusinersen and it is efficacious, showed subjective and objective improvements in older patients with spinal muscular atrophy. So I think um, the data, the message for the clinicians should be they should think about treating adults and adolescents with spinal muscular atrophy, even though we don't have any clinical trial data available, people are still using it in the real life clinical experience, clinical practice. They should take that into consideration when seeing these patients with spinal muscular atrophy, even though they are adults and they are chronic, even though they have severe scoliosis and the spine is complex to get into because, uh, as we know, as a lumbar puncture is difficult if you have a complex spine to get into the space to give the medication. The other thing that I also wanted to point out from my um, study is we used an alternative approach. Rather than a lumbar puncture, we also used cervical punctures in uh, patients who had difficult access to a lumbar spine. So that's something uh, that clinicians should keep in mind. There are alternative approaches to give the medication. I think it, um, groups have shown that uh, children that are older and adults that are treated with nusinersen intrathecally have also shown improvements in motor function, especially with ambulation. So it does bring up a point of um, thinking about nusinersen for uh, children that are not, or older adults that are not approved for other treatments that are out there for SMA and intrathecal nusinersen does remain a viable option for them.